All I am saying is this, that you should persuade your client. Showed into limelight during his feature as King in the Village Headmaster Soap Opera in the 80s, Dejumo Lewis spoke to Galaxy Television A on the movie industry floors. Uh, I'm so excited about Vince premiere. But with the movie industry, um, I have serious reservations. Uh, a lot of things are happening. They're churning out <laughs> movies in the hundreds every week and things like that. But, you know, that in itself is not how to go about it. You can do a good job and bring out a, a good, good work or product that way. So we lack real professionalism. And then all these so-called action pictures for gun running and violence. No, that's not what we should be involved in. Speaking to his fans, he said, It will be a fine month, a fine year, and a fine year ahead. I expect that this film, this movie, will model the right, you know, the, uh, uh, the right type of, of, of works we should be involved in. Zoro in Otu. Indigenous rap superstar Zoro is here with visuals to his song Utu. The video is very inch straight and his raps are dope all the way. This is one artist to watch out for as he is a clear definition of the fact that indigenous rap is gaining grounds and has also come to stay in the Nigerian entertainment industry. Enjoy some more. DJ's boo's marriage crumbles. A public confrontation between award-winning DJ's boo, his estranged wife, and a wealthy job entrepreneur has led to the total collapse of the artist's marriage. Even though the love triangle dispute happened in June, it has only emerged now that the thief was the last straw that broke the camel's back, leading to the DJ, otherwise known as Spusiso Lope, vacating his matrimonial home at the exclusive Eagle Kayan Golf Estate in Honeydew, west of Joburg. The love triangle drama was disclosed over the weekend by one of Zbu's close business allies after he and other mediators failed to help Zbu patch up things with his geologist wife. 50 Cent sued. If it had been dead when I got out like we planned, we'd been running the whole shit. 50 Cent has another creditor, aka Plaintiff, who is using the rapper for brashly stealing his show idea. Larry Johnson claims he wrote a manuscript, Tribulation of a Ghetto Kid, and in 2005 sent it to Nikki Turner, who works for 50 at G Unit Books. He says the book was eventually published elsewhere but believes Nikki showed the manuscript to 50. She gets hurt. Johnson claims, much to his horror, in 2014 stars debuted Power, Fidi's show about a drug dealer who's trying to go legit. Johnson says it's a carbon copy of his manuscript. In his book, the primary character has a goatee, Dito Ghost, in power. In fact, Johnson says he even uses the name Ghost as his pen name. And Johnson says in his manuscript, the main character's best friend has a short fuse just like Tommy in power. In Johnson's manuscript, the main character owns the hottest club in Atlanta. In power, Ghost has the hottest club in New York City. Johnson is looking for $200 million to make things right. Mm. 